right, you guys are getting really good at this. I saw a few comments on one of my previous videos about how Simplicity's new patterns were out. So here I am doing the first impression video. I honestly probably wouldn't have noticed this for several days. I'm preparing for So Expo and my mind is just a million places, none of which were even thinking about spring pattern releases. It's been a little bit chilly, so, you know, I've been bundling up, but, um, you know, I'm kind of in the mindset for spring. I'm ready for things to switch over. Um, but let's see what Simplicity has in store for all of us for this season. All right, first up, we have this Mrs. Tunic top and pull on pants. You guys know I love like a whole outfit situation happening. Uh, wardrobe pattern because you get so many options in one. All right, let's talk about this tunic first. It looks to have a single button, kind of like a button placket. A That neckline is really pulling away from her. That's really interesting. Um, drop shoulder, kind of a fuller sleeve. The pant has some kind of pocket, a bit of a relaxed fit, and kind of like a straight or stovepipe leg. Here's another view. Look how long the pants are here. And then they hiked them up a little bit, I guess. I don't know, maybe she was moving around a lot in the first one and they fell down a little bit. Okay, so the back, again, you can see how much this is pulling away from her neck. So either the neckline stretched out when they were sewing it, maybe? I don't know. But the back has a yoke and then this reverse pleat, inverted pleat. Here's the pattern cover. So there's actually three tops, it looks like. Let's go to the line drawings. Whoa, <laughs> these are stretched out a bunch. That's too bad. Well, we can kind of get an idea here. Um, so you have one version that has buttons all down the front, and it comes in two lengths? Or, yeah, okay, so yeah, A is this back. And then this is B, the one the woman is wearing, which is interesting because hers already seemed so long. Like if that is B, then how long is A? You know what I'm saying? Does this one have this split side hem? You can't really tell. Huh. Maybe they got those mixed up and hers is really the length of A but the button placket of B maybe. And then you have this version here, which I'm guessing is even shorter than B. And then here are our pants. So there's a front flat panel and then elasticated like three quarters of the way around. And then it has this um, sort of like a slash pocket. Here's the pattern back. So fabrics are batik, chambray, cotton lawn, cotton types, gauze, linen, shirtings, and voile. Yeah, sort of like those lightweight, um, but not drapey. So lightweight, stable wovens. Here are your um, fabric requirements. And then for the finished garments, they're giving us ABC bust. Very roomy in the bust. And then your hip. The hip's a little close fitting, but you know what? It's still, it's still pretty roomy. Um, the sizes are 6 to 14 and then 16 to 24. I really wish they had like a 6 to 14 and a 14 to 24. I like when they cross over, but what can you do? Uh, Mrs. Button Front Tunic and Tops, Short and Long Sleeves, Pull-On Pants, Have Partial Elastic Waist and Front Pockets. Cool. I think they did a good job styling this. You know, the all white is really nice and crisp and clean. All right, now we have this Button Down Top Shell and Pants, they're calling it. 
So you have this uh, stand collar, mandarin collar, whatever you want to call it, a little bit of a drop sleeve again, front button placket, hits right at the hip, three quarter sleeve. You also get these pants, which we can't tell much from them other than they're kind of cropped and a little bit drapey. Here's the back. Really hardly anything going on design-wise in the back. Here's everything. Ooh. Okay. All right. So you get this outfit that we talked about. You also get this little tank top and the pants with this overlay thing, which is really interesting. Um, yeah. So you really get four. And the pants have a side zip, side pockets, elasticated back, and come in two different lengths. Um, the one with the like crossover skirt thing is actually shorter than the one that the model is wearing. So I'm guessing somewhere around here, and then you have this skirt overlay thing. I don't know, that could just be really cool. I'm disappointed that they didn't make that sample but that's way more interesting than this. Hmm. Okay. Comes in 6 to 14 and 16 to 24. Mrs. Front top with collar band, sleeveless shell top, pants in two lengths, an elastic back, and then D has a front overlay. Okay. I mean, a little basic, not really my style. Also, not incredibly spring-like, you know? All right, here we go. This is also super cute. I sort of love these pants, and the top is really cute, too, actually. This is more like it. Okay, so you have a... Jeez, is this just a grown-on dolman sleeve with a, with a gathered cuff thing? And then... Just a turned under neckline. All right. Then you've got pants that have some kind of belt with them. It's hard to tell what's going on under the belt. I don't know. Are there um, pockets? I'm not sure. Here's the back. So I think the back probably has an elasticated waist and then this belt over top. I love the V um, belt loops. And it looks like this... Are they V-belt loops all the way around? Maybe. The top has a keyhole neckline with a little button. It's a cute outfit. And then here are other options. So you have the top without the band. Very simple. Or you can just extend the length of the top into a dress. Okay, fine. Uh, so here's what she's wearing. I think she probably has a really hard time keeping this tucked in, if I'm being honest. <laughs> so if you're planning on making these to wear together, I would actually extend the length of the shirt a lot so you have a lot to tuck in. Either that or convert it into a bodysuit if you wanted to do that too. Then there's your other tops. And then here's the pants. So they do have side seam pockets. There are V um, belt loops. It is an elasticated back and front, I think. The uh, fabrics are chambray, linen, silky types, soft cottons. Yeah, I mean, you can always do like some kind of like lightweight twill uh, for the pants. Some kind of drapey like rayon twill or something like that for the pants would be nice or you know chino fabric something like that and then for the tops my goodness they didn't include chalet or wall or any of those you could obviously do any of those like cotton types too i guess that's what this is soft cottons i'd rather they be more specific <laughs> and actually like list them all out not a lot of people know like what soft cottons really means all right, and so then we have a finished bust measurement on the top and a finished hip measurement on the bottom. And it's alphanumeric sizing. 
for the whole pattern. So, um, yeah, so that's kind of cool, I guess. I mean, the pants don't have to be super fitted because everything's elasticated at the top. So just get your hip to, to fit right and then you can size the elastic to whatever you need, really. That's cool. I like this one. I like this one a lot. I think that's really cute. Pants have elastic waist and tie belt is all the information they're going to give us. At least you get all the pattern, all the sizes in one pattern. That's kind of cool. Extra, extra small up to extra, extra large. I think that that's really nice. And the extra, extra large has a finished hip. So the finished hip goes from 35 up to 56. That's pretty impressive for big four. All right, next up, we've got another little um, top pants, skirt, and shorts. Wait, no top. Pants, skirt, and shorts. Okay. All right, so the pants have that front overlay thing again, and it's a cute little like D-ring closure, some pleats. Maybe this is why they didn't make the other sample. It has, yeah, some um, pleating in there, and then, oh, they put theirs with sneakers, okay. Very drapey, this fabric. Let's check out the back. The back has double darts, possibly, and then a center back zipper. All right, here's the line. Let's uh, look at this one first, maybe. Oh, look, the short. Oh, that is really interesting. Okay, so no, just single darts in the back. And then this little panel is sewn into the side seam and wrapped around the front and tied. It's kind of like a take on a skort. I think that's cool. There's the pants. And then here is a skirt, like just like a wrap skirt which is also really beautiful, very timeless, classic kind of design there. Chalet, crepe, linen, poplin, soft cottons. Yeah, I think with the skirt, you can go a little bit more stable, maybe even with the shorts, a little bit more stable. The pants really need to be drapey. So try and get as much rayon as possible. <laughs> Um, sizing is 6 to 14 and 16 to 24. And yeah, that's all the information we get really. All right. Pull on skirts and cropped pants. All right. Where's this top? I'm going to make that. Uh, okay. So skirts and pants. All right. So it looks like patch pockets, obviously, an elasticated waist, maybe, cropped length. There's the back. <coughs> oh, okay. So you have a couple of different pocket options. And then the cropped pant or this asymmetrical hem skirt. It's like high, low, but on the sides. What do we think of that? Obviously they styled theirs to be very kind of like boho, very casual. Let's see what fabrics they recommend. Chalet, Chino, Cotton, Cotton Blends, Gabardine, Linen, Linen Blends, Lightweight Denim, Pinwheel, Corduroy, Twill. Lots of options. But they aren't recommending anything like satin or anything like that. So they're really trying to keep it in the casual zone. Finished garment measurements. You get your hip measurements and then length measurements. Here are the other line drawings. Oh, this one even has pockets. They didn't have pockets on the models. I mean, again, not 
totally my style, but I can kind of see myself making it in some kind of linen, possibly. I do prefer this pocket more than this one. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I would make that. All right, here's Mimi G. Has she started cutting out the backgrounds? I hate that. Okay. Um, all right. So we've got a halter top dress with like a tuxedo type lapel, a button, half button front, uh, sort of like a take on slash pockets or patch pockets, a waist seam, maybe more. And then a front vent. There's kind of a lot going on here. This is also not great. Over here, it's smoother, but she could have just tucked it in with her finger, maybe? I don't know. Let's see about... Okay, so we also have a jumpsuit. It's really sexy. I can see it out of, like, a lightweight spring suiting, maybe. Is that what this is trying to be? I don't know. There's a lot of... You can see a lot of the puckering I wonder but the fit is good and I love the wide leg pant a little chintzy on the hem it looks like yeah this is just not probably wasn't an easy fabric to work with or photograph so I'll forgive her for that one but where's the back I want to see the back It's cute. It's sexy though, but that's, that's really, you know, what she does. So look at the back. Beautiful. And it does tie. So that thing that I thought was a waist seam, this is not. It's actually a belt, which is really nice. The line drawing is actually stunning. I am loving all of these fitting lines and then the belt and then the, you know, it's very figure enhancing. You are going to have a hourglass figure whether you like it or not. <laughs> um, and then this beautiful dart in the back. I guess you just get in through the front and there's like a little snap here. So for the jumpsuit, that's a little annoying to get in and out of because you have to undo the neck and the front. You know what I mean? Pretty though. All right. Crepe, linen, poplin, sateen, and satin is what they're recommending. Finished garment measurements of bust and hip here. Yeah, you need a little more than three yards of fabric for that jumpsuit to be expected, I guess. Sizing is 6 to 14 and 14 to 22. This one just seems like it fits better in the bust than this one, which makes me think it's the fabric of this. All right, here she is again. They put the background back on, which I prefer. So this is a dress, top, and pants. I think I might like this one. Okay, so you've got a crop top. You've got a pant with like a little kind of pleat detail, a waistband that might be a front fly, kind of tapers in at the ankle. And then you've got this incredible overlay jacket, which I assume when you button it all up, if it weren't sheer, would be a dress. I like that. Look how cute this outfit is. Let me zoom out. I mean, you know, she's got a curvy figure, right? But she looks great. Like, you can totally wear a crop top like this. That looks incredible. I want to see what the back looks like. Here's the coat dress thing. And there it is as a dress, like all buttoned up. line drawings yeah the dress 
the coat as a dress or the whatever you want to say it isn't as impressive as when you wear it as a like sheer cover you know I mean I guess it's a cute dress and then there's your little crop top the back is pretty plain yeah front fly pleating side seam pockets and single back darts I think this is really cute. Very fabulous. All right, six to 14 and 16 to 24 on the sizing. Uh, yep, we got all that. Let's see the fabrics. Fabric A for this dress coat thing. Burnout, oh, a burnout. I didn't even think of that. Double Georgette, Organza, or Shears. And then B, which is the top, Linen, Poplin, Sateen. And also, you can also make A in Sateen and Silky Types. Okay. C in Linens, Poplins, and Sateen. That's confusing the way that they wrote that out. All right, and here's your bust and hip measurements. Much closer fitting on the hip than I thought. Remember the other one went up to like, what was it, 56? This one only goes up to 52 in the finished measurements. So we still never see the back. I, well, there's this, but you can't really see the pant. I like to see the back of the pants in photos. All right, next up, we've got this skirt, pants, top with sleeve variation. I hate the color, but we're gonna get past that pretty quickly. All right, cute little square neckline, beautiful little seaming here, grown on sleeve. A uh, split hem maybe? but only on one side. That's kind of interesting. And then you've got a skirt that kind of mimics the split hem with some kind of side seam pocket. There's the back. I hate the proportions of this. Like this is so 80s to have a top that comes down like a tunic length over a skirt. This is cool. I want it to be shorter though. And the waistband of the skirt is, or pants, whatever, is really cute too. You have this like three quarter elasticated waist and these slash pockets, which I love. And then this little, yeah, it wants to be cute. This also wants to look like a, like nurse's scrubs. <laughs> it's like very cute nurse's scrubs. Let's look at this. Yeah. I don't know. What would I do different? I don't know. I don't love it as is, but I can't really pinpoint how I would change it to make it more me other than to shorten this, like, you know, raise all this up. Um, yeah, I don't know. Change the color, obviously. What does the fabric say? Cotton, crepe, linen, ponty, poplin, sateen, and silks. There's your finished garment measurements. So consistently they've given us a bust and a hip. So that's good. Mrs. Skirt pants with side front pockets, partial elastic waist, tops have side front pleat and sleeve variations. Yeah, this has potential, but I think that you'd have to do a little bit of work to just to get the proportions fixed. Or don't wear them together, I guess. If you had the tunic over pants or leggings, and it, oh, maybe, and then the skirt with another different top, maybe.
pull over dresses in two lengths. Okay, this feels very like a certain indie pattern. <laughs> um, possibly, is it the Wixton? Is that what it's called? Obviously, this is linen. It's beautiful. The stripes are nice. It's got this little bow belt thing um, sewn into the side seam. I think that's a full-on grown-on dolman sleeve. And then, again, with the asymmetrical hem that's longer on the sides. But this is also, no, this is just a high-low hem, I think. Here's the back. Yeah, I mean, just kind of to be expected for dolman sleeves. It's not the worst I've seen. Oh, and look, this little version, that's cute too. I mean, this is very simple. This is like, anybody can make this. It's a good starter, beginner sewing pattern, I think. Um, this is a shorter version of this, and this has a straight hem too. Very basic. Here are all of our line drawings. I do like it because it kind of keeps the integrity of the print of the fabric. So like if you have a print that you really love and you don't want to break it all up and cut it all up, you know, I mean, this does have center front, um, center front and back seams, but you could easily cut it on the fold. You'd use more fabric to do it that way, but you could totally do it. And then you'd have just your whole print like completely not broken up. And then here are our other versions. Cool. Comfy, right? Doesn't it look so comfortable? Chalet, chambray, cotton, cotton blends, gingham, linen, linen blends, shirting, silky types. Yeah, linen blends, 1,000%. And then, oh, just when I said they're consistently giving us all the finished garment measurements, they come out and just give me the bust measurement. Thanks a lot, Simplicity. Alphanumeric sizing, extra, extra small, up to extra, extra large. So forgiving in the fit department. Yeah, this is really great. Great for beginners. All right. Oh, look at this cutie. Simplicity misses well, dress with skirt and sleeve variations and belt. Wow. Okay. So you've got this. This reminds me of like a Draper James dress without the belt. <laughs> um, but you've got your French darts, which are stunning. I think they always look so beautiful. A little set in sleeve. Super cute. Beautiful high neckline. And then it's just a shift dress. There is something happening here. A side panel maybe, I can't really, oh, maybe there is a seam here because this all of a sudden the lines are straight and then now they go on the bias. So here it is straight on from the front. Let me zoom out. This is a really adorable. Doesn't that look so like high fashion and expensive? I think so. I don't know what I think about this low slung belt, but the dress looks really cool. Oh, look, you even get this version with like a little vintage nod, like this little bow. And this looks like the same as this, just a little bit longer sleeve. And then you also have a sleeve less version. So interesting. And there's, there is a seam. See how there's like a low hip seam? So that's really cool. I love the play on the um, plaid fabric for this. So good. This is reading a little bit juvenile to me. Uh, I'm trying to decide if it were like a white dress with a navy blue bow that would look like a little girl's sailor dress. 
But if you did it in super chic, like black with a white bow, then that would be like Chanel-esque. So I guess it really depends on fabric choice. But I like their idea of doing it on, in a plaid. I think mean, that's really cool. Um, okay, cotton types, crepes, linens, poplin for sure, sateen, silks, totally. And then the belt just in any 60 inch white fabric. Yeah, because there's like no seam. Like a leather would be cool. And then finished bust is all we get. This is my favorite so far. Sizing is 10 to 18 and then 20 to 28. So that gives us finished bust measurements from 36 to 53. All right, now we've got this fun little number. Dress and top with tie belt. I love the sleeves. I love the sleeves a lot. Okay, you've got this really cool, like, I don't can't tell if that's squared off or oval shaped neckline. This incredible dramatic sleeve. Uh, maybe some princess seams. It's really hard to tell. Maybe a waist seam too. And then this wrap tie quilted belt looking thing. Here's the back. Gorgeous. I feel like this is an exposed, like reverse inside out French seam or something, which I actually have been seeing a lot of. Yeah, look at that. It's almost like the seam on the outside. I'm obsessed. I love this. This dress is gorgeous. Just when I thought I didn't need another lightweight drapey dress, here we go. Let's see if it talks about, okay, fabrics are silky types, crepe de chine, double georgette, burnouts, soft, lightweight, cottons, gauze, cotton lawn, soft, lightweight linens. And you, okay, um, bust measurements, okay, that's not going to be there. Down here, does it say? No. Mrs. Deep, U-neck dresses, three-quarter sleeves, knee, an evening length waist sash. I've never heard it called that. 6 to 14 and 16 to 24. What I was wanting to see if it were, like, designed to have a lining and an overlay or if you could make it in just a single ply of fabric and not have the overlay. You know what I mean? I'm not, I can't really tell from this. It's beautiful though. I really like both the top and the dress. All right, look at this fun little bias cut dream. The color again is a little meh. But you've got this part cut on the straight green and this cut on the bias and a bias cut skirt is just I mean it feels expensive it feels luxurious it feels so good if you've never worn a bias cut dress no matter how many curves you have it feels so good um maybe like a little handkerchief hem or something going on here asymmetrical hem also raglan sleeve Okay, here's the back. Yep, really pretty. The pattern cover is also suggesting you could do it uh, like color blocking. Pattern blocking would also be really good. And then it looks like sleeve variation and length variation. Okay, 
crepe de chine, double georgette, soft lightweight linen types, silky types, ca soft cottons. They're loving this term, soft cottons. Um, 33 inch bust to 49 inch bust. Oh, that skirt is great though. Beautiful bias cut skirt. 6 to 14, 16 to 24. All right. Now we've got this caftan. Okay, um, all right, so you've got a band collar, button band with two buttons, this kind of U-shaped empire waist seam, drop shoulder, big cuff, it's like a nightgown, right? Everybody's getting nightgown vibes here, not just me. I mean, even in this like crinkle cotton that they're using it's like she's going to bed <laughs> she's got to be going to bed look how cute the line drawings are though i love this yeah this is definitely one of those ones where if like you made it up and then you told people what pattern it was they would be like there's no way that this is this <laughs> because we would never pick a fabric like this and this weird long sleeve we would no but this is adorable so good all right batik cotton lawn cotton types gauze linen types shirtings wall awesome and then there's your finished bust measurements yeah it's pretty roomy pretty roomy top you know what I like better than that? I like this. Much better. Okay. Yeah, it even looks like a nightgown in the line drawing. I mean, even the short version with the sleeve looks less like a nightgown than this. But hey, I'm not knocking a nice nightgown. Make a nice nightgown, you know? We deserve to look great and feel comfortable in our nightgowns. But this is really cute for like a little, I mean, just to run around and do errands. I'm already picturing it being like miserably hot this summer. And this feels like the best dress to wear um, to try and stay cool. Cute. I feel like we're hitting our stride here toward the end. Here's another little dress. They are very basic still. You know, very simple seam lines. So this one has like a V-neck dolman sleeve again. I mean, I think I've only seen one set in sleeve this whole video. Um, it has a self belt to kind of cinch it in at the waist. And then you have the option of doing a buttoned skirt with patch pockets or this tiered version. And I wish they would have made this so I could see how close fitting it would be through the midriff. But this is all they're giving us. I wanted to see this. Yeah, there is a uh, waist seam, which is good. And they've also got some darts here that open up, which is also good. So there is like intentional fitting. The belt doesn't pull it all in. The dress is actually already pulled in and the belt kind of enhances that. It is, I mean, it's cute. It's just, again, basic. And this print is, I don't even know what's happening with that print. We're going to pretend like something else is going on there. Okay. Chambray, cotton lawn, cotton types, crepe, gingham, linen type, sateen, shirtings. Yeah. Yeah. All those stable, lightweight wovens. Four to 12. And 12 to 20. 
I've never even seen that before. What finished garment measurements should we get for this? Finished bust is 36 to, I mean, it is a really roomy bust. And they aren't giving us any other. Like, what's the waist? That's the, that's the most fitted part. Ugh, that is so annoying still. Okay. We're skipping over the vintage ones simply because I do not sew vintage myself. So it's hard for me to speak on it. Same thing with kids clothes or costumes. I just, I don't know a lot about all that. So it's hard for me to give, um, feedback. Okay. This is a button front shirt. I thought this was going to be maternity, not because she looks fat or anything. I just think that the way that this button placket is done makes it give the illusion that this is like rounder. Did anybody else think that right away? Um, we do have an actual set in sleeve, a little collar and a high low hem. Here is the back. I thought that was a dart. Um, you've got a center back seam, a wrinkle. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, here's Yeah, this just isn't super flattering, I don't feel. I don't know if it's because it's like curvy, swoopy. You know, we've seen a bunch recently that have been more straight. And I don't remember it feeling fuller or more robust in the midsection. Yeah, I think I'm not a huge fan of this one, unfortunately. Cotton, cotton blends, lightweight denim, linen, linen blends, poplin, shirtings, stretch woven fabrics. Okay, and then here's your finished bust. Ten to eighteen, and then twenty to twenty-eight is your size range there. And here's our line drawings again. Yeah. I, I really don't love the kind of asymmetrical button band anyways. This one feels less lovable. Even less lovable. All right. Mrs. Top with sleeve variation and neck scarf. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Well. Well. Well, you've got a drop shoulder with a sleeve. I think this might be a V-neck underneath here. You've got a literally a neck scarf that you button. Long sleeves that go into a button cuff. Center front seam. They tucked it in, but then they also untucked it. This is weird. Even the way it's fitting her here. That's so strange. Oh, are they attached? See, this is okay. This, where you, it's like falling off her shoulders and you can kind of see. And even how... This almost looks like it's folded over like a collar would be. And hers is like standing up straight. Yeah, I just don't, I, maybe the designer wasn't there for the photo shoot. And so they were like, yeah, just throw this thing on. Take the picture, you know, where someone needed to be there to say no. It needs, it's a little more finessed than that. But here's the neckline. It's got a beautiful little notched neck. And this detail which is completely missing from here I mean that's really pretty even with the buttons so yeah I'm not entirely sure if this is just too big on her or I don't know what happened with that 
All right. Cotton crepe, double Georgette, linen, which I think is what she's wearing. Poplin and silk. And then here's your bust measurements. I do think that the top has a lot of potential. I just might not never make that scarf. <laughs> but maybe, maybe this scarf needed to be a little more drapey. I don't know. It needed some work. Either way, extra, extra small to extra, extra large also on the sizing. Okay, I think we just have a few more. No, we have a lot more. Okay, a couple more rows. We have a top with sleeve and length variation. Again, pretty basic. It's a t-shirt, you know. A little curved split hem. There is an actual sleeve though, that's good. Oh, the back is really pretty. We've got this yoke with all these pleats. That's really nice. But this seam needs to be right here, right where that little bone comes down. All right, here are our other variations. We've got little, maybe sheer contrast sleeve, one pocket. And then this version and her version, obviously. Um, the back is really pretty, I love the back. Cottons, crepe, double Georgette, linens, poplins, silks, contrast flanges. <laughs> in lace okay extra small through 2xl uh, here are the line drawings I just like this the scoopy yoke I don't know that I see that very often and I prefer shorter length personally but you do you I mean, it's sweet, simple, cute, you know, those kinds of words. All right, here is another basic little tunic. She looks very unhappy. All right, the fit is great. The fit up on this on her looks incredible. There are a lot of line drawings considering what we're dealing with here. So you've got a basic bodice with a dart and a three quarter length sleeve. You can add a flounce to it. You can add, a, oh, they all have split hems also. You can change up the neckline to be this plain little notch collar. You can add a little collar band. You can add whatever this is happening. And it looks like you had a bias cut skirt too. That is a lot of stuff. Um, it's really kind of hard to tell the difference. Are these all trims? Oh, and pants and a belt. So you get the pants she's wearing. Okay. Laundered cottons. <laughs> Batik, chalet, crepe back satin, laundered silks and rayons. Crinkled gauze, matte jersey, handkerchief linen. B, C, and E. So B, C, and E, the pants, and this top, and this top, also in PK, Poplin, and Twill. I guess this is just not very friendly for that amount of stability in a fabric. And then F is the belt in double Georgette and novelty sheer fabrics. 
Okay. Um, you get a bust measurement and two different hip measurements. The skirt and the pants have different. Nope, they're the exact, oh, they're not the exact same. Well, they are, but then as you get into the larger sizes, they're not. I mean, they're not and then they are. That seems odd, but maybe not. I don't know enough about drafting to know whether that's odd or not. Uh, 10 to 18 and 20 to 28 on the size ranges. Another basic. All right, now we've got this little jacket. Extra, extra small through 2XL. The print is really pretty, am I right? Just like a front band, sleeve band, Drop shoulder. Cute. This is really cute. I feel like you could use, everyone can use something like this in their wardrobe um, to kind of help trans transition from winter to summer. You know? Layering up. Layer it up. Silky, lightweight woven fabrics with drape. See, like, how they explain that? You know? And then kind of go into the specific fabrics. I wish they did that more. Batik, charmeuse, cotton types, crepe de chine, double georgette, linen types, silky types. C, also in border printed fabrics. Yeah, for sure. Extra fabric, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Um... Interesting that the front cover doesn't call it a kimono, but on the back it does. Finished garment measurements, we're only getting the length. That's annoying. And then here are our line drawings again. So yeah, you have this lace trim. Lace trim. This is pretty. Uh, what's the difference? What's the difference? I don't see a difference. Okay. This one's cool too, with this band that wraps all the way around you. That's cool too. Yeah, I like. This print, again, though, really makes it. It really makes it. Dressed up those jeans and white t-shirt, that's for sure. Okay, this is a repeat because I own it. Uh, so all I've got left is this tank top? No, nope, still going. I don't know how this ended up in the mix. <laughs> but I own that pattern. I've made it before, so I know it's not new. Weird. I mean, maybe I should look at it. Maybe it's not the one I think it is. Do the straps crisscross? Yeah. I 1000% own this pattern. Not new. Nice try. Not going to fool me. Okay. The most basic of all the basic tank tops in the world. Great little staple. You've got a scoop neck, a V-neck, and square neck in a woven top. Sleeves, no sleeves split hems go to town making all of the tops and then pretty much any fabric you want cotton cotton blends lightweight pk silk silky type charmeuse chalet crepe lightweight fail sandwash silk Ooh, sandwash silk would be great linen silk linen linen blends <laughs> wow okay and then bust measurements and length measurements. Yeah, I mean, if you want to knock out some, some T's, go for it. 8 to 16, 16 to 24. Uh, line drawings are here. All right.
right, mommy and me, we'll take a quick look at this. Is it pajamas? Oh, three to eight. Oh, it's just kids clothes. I don't do kids clothes, but she's adorable. We've got a skirt. It's very swishy. Swish factor is high. Again, with that like crinkled cotton, it's elasticated and then they tied this little loop-de-loop -loop thing. I think it's elasticated and gathered possibly. Pretty hem. Here's the cover. Oh, it's quite a few of them actually. All right. So we've got A with like the scoopy hem. B, I think, is the same as A with a street hem and a pocket. C has the buttons in the pocket. And D has just a shorter, straighter hem. Cute. Basic. Side seam pockets also. Chambray, cotton, cotton blends, crepe de chine, gauze, gingham, linen. Jeez, yeah, a whole bunch of stuff. Finished garp measurements are your hip, which is really irrelevant. We really need the waist, but whatever. Also, not elasticated, I don't think. Let's see the real line drawings. I think it's just gathered into a waistband. So, yeah, fitted for sure. Details. Yeah. Doesn't really say, but it's cute. Swishy, like I said. This one is... Eyelet circle skirt. Oh, wait. Oh, Lord. Look what they did. Whoopsies. Darn. And we get that one picture and that's it. Yeah, this is a circle skirt. One with a waistband, one with a waistband with buttons, no waistband, and contrast. Oh no, they even did this. Darn. So, but I can just tell you, you're going to want some kind of like um, light to mid-weight stable or drapey uh, woven. Darn, big mistake there. Mrs. Easy to Sew three-quarter circle skirt can be 20 or 30 inches with or without waistband, 25-inch contrasting lower band, and 20-inch with stylish 25-inch. Oh, well, I mean, what? What is all those inches? Oh, my gosh. That's a very confusing way to explain what they were trying to explain with the overlay. Basically, they were saying one, where did it go? 20 inch with 25 inch overskirt is what she's wearing. This is 25 inch and this is, I'm sorry, this is 20 inch and this is 25 inch. You know what I mean? And then here's the 25 inch with contrasting lower band, you know? and then 20 inches and 30 inches. I get it, but that's just like, it's just a very complicated way to explain it on the pattern envelope. Like, put the inches somewhere else. <laughs> somewhere else. Oh, I didn't even get the sizes, hold on. Six to 14 and 14 to 22. Pull back. All right. Oh, this is going to be it, I think. We've got one more little, like, I don't know, Holly Hobby esque tunic. A scoop neckline. There wasn't a single knit, I don't think. That's interesting. 
um, grown on sleeve this little interesting tidbit patch pockets tunic okay here's another version wow she is like I am firing my agent as soon as I get out of here <laughs> <laughs> Look at this odd photo shoot. Two of the pictures, they don't even show her eyes. Pigtail braids? Oh, my word. Wow. I forgot to even look at any of the design details. What do they have to say about it back here? Batik calico prints? Chalet, chambray, cotton lawn, cotton types, dotted, Swiss, eyelet, gingham, linen types, madras. God, I haven't seen that on a pattern envelope in forever. Poplins, shirtings, extra fabric. Okay, yeah, we got that. And then your finished bust. Okay. is Are these the backs? Let's go here. I mean, the shaping's pretty. And then, yeah, these little things tie in the back. Okay. Not my cup of tea. But maybe it should be. I mean, the fit is really good. You just, I mean, maybe make it longer. Maybe this dress version would be better. You know? I don't know. It's not awful. I mean, okay, wait. Yes, this photo shoot is strange. And the fabrics are strange. But outside of that, it could be cute. <laughs> I think I'm just feeling really optimistic today. Okay. I didn't hate anything. It's just all of it felt very, um, whew, uh, wow, a lot of pajamas. Interesting. There are one, two, three, four, five pajama patterns. And they're all pants and a top. 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 The only one is this one that happens to have a robe, but also pants and a top. Ah, they're barefoot. That's gross. Ah, they're barefoot too. Ugh, I don't like barefoot. I know that you they wear sandals and all that. I don't know. Bare feet are just weird to me. Okay. Uh, <laughs> um, okay, so yeah, that's gonna do it for a Simplicity Spring. I, <laughs> I'm gonna refer back to Simplicity Early Spring. I feel like that collection was a little bit stronger than this one, but all that to say, I loved this one, top to bottom. This is really cool. This is fun. Loved this. Loved this. Liked this. So there are actually quite a few in here. But again, the overall kind of theme to me feels <clears throat> beginner, basic. Yeah. Outside of this one with the big sleeve and this one with like the <clears throat> hip seam thing. Like where is the design? Where is the fresh, new? I mean, that is one thing. I don't always love Mimi's patterns, but that is one thing she will always have, freshness. You know, she will always be, like, bringing it. Some of these just feel like they've been done a thousand different ways. But that's my opinion. Let me know in the comments section below what you think of Simplicity's spring collection. Um, I'm eager to see McCall's, obviously. Butterick, which is one of my absolute favorite pattern designers, skipped winter, which makes me nervous that with all of these changes, uh, they might be doing away with Butterick. I don't know. If Butterick doesn't come out with a spring collection, I'm going to be really, really worried. But all of these patterns, McCall's included, the whole company 
sold again. So who knows what's going to happen. All of this feels very like they just made all these incredible changes and things were feeling like they were moving in a positive direction. And now, now who knows, but Trying to just take it one collection at a time. Let me know in the comment section, like I said, what you think. And I will see you all very, very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.